Greetings, I'm Malin, and today I wanted to talk about listening to what the world is trying to tell you. This idea kind of sounds a bit woo-woo and spiritual, but just stick with it and kind of keep an open mind with it because, you know, it kind of actually makes sense if you think about it properly. So often we'll go and do things and, you know, a lot of the things that we do, you know, for example, getting a job or working towards a goal, you know, we're kind of taught, you know, oh, it's this grind, it's got to be this dedication to this thing, and it's got to, you just got to keep making it work, and through all the difficulty and all the struggle, you know, you're going to rise, and then all of a sudden it's going to be great, and you're going to get the fame that you deserve, and the success and money and all these sorts of things. But maybe life is making these things harder, and giving you this anxiety or giving you this fear for a reason to try to tell you something, to try and push you in another direction. You know, there's a story of BJ Penn and he mastered Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu in three years. And I think he won the Mondial, the Mundial or whatever it is, the great big Jiu-Jitsu tournament. And, you know, usually it takes several years, like a decade almost for people to even reach black belt, but he reached black belt and then became the world champion. And in the interviews they kind of asked oh so what did you do was it dedication was it waking up early early mornings late nights just working on it all the time and he's like no it's just kind of fun and you know we we kind of idealize this suffering and this kind of you know getting it done and making things work you know but life is kind of pushing us in these directions giving us little signals you know and it doesn't have to be hard, you know, we can listen to these things and then find what we enjoy and find what we naturally are inclined to do. And then kind of just float into that, you know, it's like life is just constantly nudging you into these directions and you'll get rewarded naturally if you follow the things that you actually enjoy. And these things will come a lot easier and they'll be a lot more fun for you to kind of do, you know, there's not there is some sense of kind of discipline and kind of difficulty to it, but you know, there's kind of like this life wants you to do it. It's like, um, it's like surfing a wave where it's kind of like, you know, the wave is taking you and you're following the wave rather than you fighting against a rip current or you not having a board and like being floundering in this water. It's kind of like, you're listening to the waves and you're kind of flowing and you're floating with them and going along with them. That's the kind of way that I've been taught to think about it. Um, and if you kind of want to get more into these ideas, I've got them inspired by Taylor Allen. and He does the deep game kind of YouTube channel and he's been going into more of his own kind of personal development, spirituality kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, I just got to kind of owe that to him because he's the one that's kind of given me these ideas. So thank you for watching if you did, and I'll see you in the next video.